So here we go, guys. We have major, major announcements coming for Season 2 Mythic Plus. Uh, these were posted today, you know, just a few minutes ago on WoWhead. So you can go to wowhead.com and, and read them on your own. Um, just really, you know, the first major thing is that there appears to be no seasonal affix in Season 2. Um, and we have had seasonal affixes for a few expansions now. Seasonal affix is the level 10 affix, so right now it's thundering. Um, there was speculation as to what it would be in Season 2. It seems like, you know, in an interview, Morgan Day announced that there is no seasonal affix in Season 2. Um, this is really interesting because when the seasonal affix has been really good, people have been super happy about it. And I remember things like, um, you know, I forgot what it was called, but it was the one that would make all the, uh, the ghosts when you kill the monsters. And then there was, um... The, the pillars, you know, back in, in BFA season four, super popular affix. Um, and then we have now Thundering, which is really not popular at all. Doesn't feel that good to, to play with it. And if you do it wrong, you know, it causes a wipe. It's it's just not a not a very fun experience. So I understand why they're getting rid of seasonal affixes. Um, if they are, this is, you know, not confirmed by Blizzard yet, but Morgan Day basically confirmed it. Um, and, you know, not having one is going to be interesting. I, I, I understand why they did it, because um, we are rotating dungeons now, right? So we're not having the same 8 or 10 dungeons every tier or every season. We have a rotation now, and we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, we have a completely 8 new dungeons coming in Season 2. So that kind of removes the need to have a seasonal affix, right? It's like the seasonal affix was there to keep content fresh, and now because content is fresh on its own due to the dungeon rotation, there's no real need for a seasonal affix. So we'll see what they do. Um, we'll see how this, this pans out. There is also an announcement that they're refreshing the level seven bucket um, of affixes. So these are things like Volcanic, Grievous, and Quaking, um, kind of the more challenging of the, of the set, uh, tend to be in the level seven. And we'll see what they do here, what they mean by affix refresh. Not too sure what that means. We'll see. Um, but very interesting. I, I don't kind of don't remember what Mythic Plus was like before seasonal affixes, but I do remember really hating um, a few of them, and I really don't enjoy thundering. And I don't think many of the top players enjoy thundering either. Um, I hear lots of complaints. That it just doesn't really feel good when you're doing it right. It just feels like a hassle, or it feels like an obligation to do. And that's not really a good place you Dude. want the game to be, to have a mechanic that's like, okay, we're obligated to clear Thundering, <laughs> you know. There's no real kind of technicality or technical kind of um, thing you gain. Or what, what am I thinking? What's the word I'm thinking of? There's no um, leg up for players by holding on to Thundering a little bit longer. You don't really gain that much from it. So it doesn't feel good to play, and it feels really, really awful when you do it wrong. Let's say you're on a boss... Um, where you need to be spread out a lot, it, it's just hard to deal with Thundering there. It's not fun. Um, so oh, nice. I am very excited, at the very least, that Thundering will be gone soon. Um, I don't know what gameplay is going to be like without Seasonal Affix, but we will see. So the second and more exciting piece of news here is that they have announced the Season 2 dungeon rotation. Uh, they have announced what the eight dungeons next season will be, including the four old expansion dungeons here. And very exciting is, uh, you know, Freehold is a real fan favorite. People loved it back in BFA. Um, Underrot, a lot of people didn't like it. I personally really love this dungeon. I think it's very interactive, uh, very technically challenging, and, and pretty rewarding to do properly. Um, also, it looks super cool. Underrot is one of my favorite dungeons. Uh, Nelth Slayer, a lot of annoying stuff in here. Uh, back from Legion, if you uh, if you played, you remember Nels Lair pretty well, I'm sure. Um, and uh, Vortex Pinnacle was from Cataclysm, so it's interesting they put a you know a really old dungeon in here. Uh, Vortex Pinnacle was one of my favorites back in the day as well. This one I have a feeling is going to be really challenging. Uh, it was hard. It was hard a long time ago. Uh, a lot of the mobs do you know a, you know there's a lot of stuff to do here. Um, I don't want to spoil it, uh, but it's it's a pretty challenging dungeon. We can talk about that um, in more detail. Um, so these look to be the eight dungeons in the rotation. We have Halls of Infusion, 
Brackenhide, Alderman, and Neltharis from Dragonflight, obviously. Then we have NL from Legion. We got Freehold, Underrot, and Vortex Pinnacle. So as of now, that, that seems to be the eight. And this was uh, this was also confirmed by Morgan Day in, a, in an interview recently. Um, so you can read this on your own. I'm not going to read this out loud. Um, and, and there's a little snippet here about Brackenhide at the bottom. Um, I can take a moment here to talk about each of these dungeons because I, I did do these when they were current content. Um, so I, I'll take a, you know, a couple minutes on each to kind of, you know, talk about what I think is, what I think they will be like, kind of what to expect here. So I guess we can start with Vortex Pinnacle, um, a very beautiful dungeon, first of all. It's really, really uh, cool looking. There, there's a lot of difficult, difficult trash mobs in here. Um, and I think that's going to be the real catch point. Um, however, we've seen, this expansion at least, that they sometimes, you know, make these old dungeons too easy. And and that, or or rather I should say that, um, you know, these 10-year-old, 8-year-old dungeons don't really withstand the test of time. And when they're implemented into Mythic Plus, as we see with Shadow Moon Burial Grounds, right? Um, it doesn't really, it, it becomes too easy, or the mechanics, there's not enough mechanics. So maybe I'm looking at this with, you know, rose-tinted glasses, uh, you know, hindsight is whatever. Um, and I'm remembering this as much more difficult or much more um, fun than it was. But uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I am excited for, for Vortex Pinnacle. It was one of the ones I was hoping they would add. Um, so we'll see how that turns out. Um, Neltharian's Lair from Legion. This was a, a pretty challenging dungeon that I think a lot of people <laughs> ended up you know, not liking. They avoided it by the end. Um, but some of the trash in here is super, super annoying and toxic. Um, there's the pelters that are just shooting random DPS. Um, there's a lot of uh, just unavoidable flame damage uh, towards the end of the dungeon from the scorpions and stuff. Um, a lot of painful physical damage. There's these rock dudes that cast the frontal, same thing as an Azure Vault. Actually, they're pretty much the exact same mobs, right? Um, and the bosses are pretty hard as well. So this is going to be a challenge, I think, um, Neltharian's Lair. It was back in Legion. It was a it was a pretty challenging key. It was definitely one of the harder ones. So um, definitely, you know, there's worse dungeons they could have added from Legion. I'm not too against uh, Neltharian's Lair, but you know, I was hoping for something a little more fun. Um, you know, Black Rock Hold or or something like that. Um, that's just personal taste, I think. Um, so yeah. And then from BFA we have Freehold, and if you've never done Freehold. You know, I really don't want to spoil it. It's such a great dungeon. Um, it's always a good dungeon when you when there are different routes you can take, uh, different orders in which you can do things, as well as very, very technical skips and um, kind of, you know, challenging ways to pull trash, kind of little tricks and, 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 uh, and finicky things you can do inside the dungeon. That's always a very fun experience, at least, um, you know, at least at the upper levels of gameplay when you know it's very rewarding to know that stuff and to take it into a dungeon and be able to implement it um that's always a such a rewarding thing and and the same thing is true in under rod there's some different uh routing things you can do in there there's some skips um so both of these dungeons i'm super excited for i liked both of these a lot and i think they will be um very well received by the community if you miss them in bfa i i think uh you you'll like them here um, they were a lot of fun to do in Mythic Plus. Two of my favorite keys were Freehold and Underrot. Um, challenging, yes. Uh, I think Freehold, from what I remember, was much more challenging on Fortified Week. Some of the trash in there, uh, pretty hard. Hits the tank pretty hard, especially. Um, and Underrot was definitely more challenging on Tyrannical. I, <laughs> I remember, you know, doing a couple plus uh, whatevers with my guild. And we had some, you know, we had some 90-minute keys. We had some weekly no lever, you know, really, really, uh, really fun times in there. Um, so, overall, I'm very, very excited for for these four dungeons. I think they're, I think they're, these are good additions. Um, there was rumors about stuff like Arcway being added. Um, you know, I wasn't too too into that. These are these are much more exciting. And then for the four Dragonfly dungeons, right? Um, you know, I. I I think a lot of people are dreading these four because they these are the tougher ones on Mythic Zero, right? If you just walk into the, you know, if you remember from early in the expansion, we were doing Mythic Zeros before Mythic Plus was launched. 
right. these were the that tough ones, right? Yeah. Brackenhide and, and Halls of Infusion and, and all this stuff. Um, it'll be interesting to see how these turn out because Blizzard obviously can tune these dungeons differently than they are tuned on Mythic Zero. They're very hard on Mythic Zero. Uh, they're harder than the four current dungeons. That is a fact, right? But we'll see how the tuning turns out, um, and we'll be able to check it out soon on PTR, I, I think. Uh, probably after 10.07 launches, um, we'll be able to, to check out these dungeons sometime soon um, before Season 2 comes out. I think Halls of Infusion, they will probably... This and Brackenhide, they'll probably uh, tone down a bit because they are a little bit too... There, there's a little bit too much damage going out, I think, in both of these dungeons. Uh, Ultimate, hey. I think, is fine. Nice. I think that's going to be actually a pretty popular dungeon. I think the bosses are really cool in there. It's five bosses. It's a little bit long, but it doesn't feel super long like Halls of Valor. Um, so I think this might be uh, a popular one. Neltharis, I also think is going to be quite popular, but I think it's going to be very difficult, um, especially on Fortified Week. Some of the Obviously. trash in there is very, very hard. Um, well, I remember just going in at like 340 item level for a Mythic Zero, and and we were shocked. We were like, um, there's just a lot of stuff to do here, a lot of things to dodge, a lot of damage going out. Um, should be fun, though. I, I think I'm most excited for Neltharis and Alderman, and I'm not, <laughs> not too excited for the other two, but we'll see. Um, I take a you know I'm I'm gonna take a guess here on what I think the timers are gonna be for these. I think that's something fun to do. Um, Halls of Infusion, a very long dungeon. I think it's gonna be because there's a lot of uh, running and it's all indoors, right? So I would expect at least a 35 minute timer for for halls. I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be closer to 40. Um, it, so I'll just say it's gonna be a 40 minute timer for Halls of Infusion. Um, some of those bosses are going to be super long and tyrannical. There's a lot of just, like, walking you have to do in that dungeon. Um, so I'm going to go 40 minutes for, for halls. I'm also going to go 40 minutes for Brackenhide, unless they remove some of the trash. There's just too much trash in here. Um, it's going to take, you know, 10, 12 minutes to clear the first boss. It's just going to take forever on Fortified Week. 40 minutes, unless they remove some of the trash. That's my guess for Brackenhide. Uh, for Alderman... Also, probably pretty close to 40. Um, I'm going to say 38. The trash, you know, is not going to take too long in there, but it's a five-boss dungeon, so um, they're going to need to have some sort of, you know, long timer there. It's not going to be a 32-minute dungeon, right? It's not going to be um, Azure Vault, which is 34 minutes. It's going to be longer than that. And also, Neltharis, I think, is going to be pretty long as well because it's it's similar <laughs> to Halls. It's, a, it's an indoor dungeon, and there's we a lot sure of... Can. Um, you know, you we go can. in there, you do the figure eight loop, right, to um, hit all the bosses, and then you go upstairs and get the uh, uh, the Forge Master. Um, so there's a lot of walking, you know, there's a lot of backtracking even, too. So I think Neltharis is going to be pretty long as well, and <laughs> so we have four, you know, the longer dungeons to do here. Um, I, I personally don't mind a longer dungeon, but I, I because, you know, I have a lot of time to play. But I understand that long dungeons have kind of decreased in popularity recently. Um, people kind of want to be more in and out, a thirty-minute, thirty-two-minute thing, and then and then you're out of there. We'll see. We'll see what they do with these. They might, you know, they might remove some of the trash. They might tone them down a little bit so they're not too long. Um, so my guess is forty for halls, forty for Brackenhide. We'll say thirty-eight for Ulderman and thirty-seven for Neltharis. And all four of these are, are going to be longer than what we have now. Um, that that's that's for sure. So these other four, I don't remember exactly what Nelth Slayer was. From my recollection, it was a thirty something. I think it was 30, 35 or thirty six minutes back in the day. Freehold was thirty six or thirty eight. I I don't remember exactly. I remember it being decently long, but always felt a little bit short. Um, while you're doing it, I think it was 38. Uh, someone, please correct me uh, if you if you know the answer. Underrod, I remember being 38. 38 minutes, I think, was Underrod. Um, and obviously, we've never had Mythic Plus for Vortex Pinnacle before. Um, you know, I, I, I'm just I, I don't remember too clearly those numbers. I, I just made those up probably, but 
Um, Vortex Pinnacle, I would guess something shorter. There's only three bosses in there, so maybe 32, 33 minutes for Vortex. Um, so those are my guesses. Overall, I'm very excited. Um, you know, Season 1 is getting a little bit stale. Uh, not too, I'm not a fan of some of the dungeons in Season 1. Don't really like... Um, uh, what don't I like? Let me think. I actually, you know, Azure Vault has grown on me. I don't like Halls of Valor. Um, I, I like the dungeon, but I don't like the, you know, having to do Halls of Valor. It's just kind of annoying. Um, Shadow Moon, really, really getting old. Not a fan of Shadow Moon Burial Grounds. Um, so, yeah, just, I mean, overall, Season 1 just is getting a little bit old. So, very excited here for, for Season 2 announcements. I hope these are the, I hope these are the, uh, the four that they add. Um, I, I th these would be <laughs> very exciting if these are the four, uh, and I hope they don't change it. I hope there's no you know arc way or something like that. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So you can go on Wowhead and check these articles out on your own. Um, I'm sure we'll get more and more info as the days go on here. My guess for when season two is coming out is probably um, about May, something mid May, uh, early May, um, because it should coincide with the end of this uh, Mythic Plus affix rotation. So there are, including this week, eight more weeks. So you could probably expect season two about eight or nine weeks from now. That puts us somewhere in May. Um, so something to look forward to. Um, yep. And that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching.